So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at what's changed in JUnit 5. What's the architecture? But JUnit 4, I told you that there was just one thing, right? That was the JUnit and it contained everything. With JUnit 5, it's kind of broken down a little bit. So you've got uh, the core platform. The architecture of JUnit starts with the platform. Platform is the core of what comprises the, the library of JUnit, which is involved in running the tests, uh, providing a way for you to call the test runner. It provides an execution context. A bunch of those things uh, are a part of the core platform, right? This core platform is not something that we as developers are gonna directly interact with, right? So you have test runners, which you don't typically interact with. What you interact with is the JUnit API. And the JUnit API is called Jupyter. Jupyter is the new code name that they brought in for JUnit because they didn't want to call the API itself JUnit because JUnit is the whole thing. So the API that you're going to be using when you say at test, you write a test annotation or you use asserts, those are uh, a part of Jupyter, okay? The reason it's called Jupyter is because Jupyter is the fifth planet in the solar system and this is JUnit 5 and then they all both have start with JU. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good code name if you think about that. So Jupyter is what's the thing that you're gonna be interacting with when you write code, right? Uh, that's the second portion of it. The next portion is what's called Vintage. Vintage is another set of APIs that you can use when you're running older JUnit tests. Like I said, JUnit is not technically backward compatible out of the box, but then they've provided something that you can use to run your existing tests so that you don't have to throw them all out or you don't have to rewrite all of them again. You can have a project where you have JUnit, the newer JUnit, JUnit 5, and JUnit 4 tests run in parallel, right? So the new tests are gonna be using Jupyter, and the old tests are gonna be using Vintage, all right? And then they also have provided a library which lets you extend it, right? So Jupyter is just one way in which you can use the platform. Let's say you say you don't like the JUnit APIs. You can come up with your own APIs and still use the underlying uh, test engine to run your tests, right? The test engine is over here, which is what runs your tests. And then Jupyter is the API which informs the test engine what test to run, how to run it. This is you programming it, right? So Vintage is you programming using your older tests. This is you creating your own extensions and have it still use the platform to run your tests, All right? So these are the three components in addition to the platform. So let's say you're writing tests. You can use any of those three, right? So you can use Jupyter, and use the platform using JUnit 5. You can use Vintage, run your older tests, or you can use external third-party integrations to create your own um, create your own APIs, if you will. So these are corresponding to the Maven dependencies that you're gonna be using when you write JUnit. So let's say you're writing using the new JUnit syntax, right? New JUnit 5 syntax. What are the dependencies you need to add? You need to add the Jupyter dependencies and you need to add the core platform dependency. So two dependencies in Maven and you can write using JUnit 5. Let's say you're writing some older tests, you wanna bring it into the code, then you need the vintage dependency, right? And then this dependency for extending, all right? Um, when you're writing code in an IDE, let's say you're writing it using Eclipse, you can right click on Eclipse and say, run the test and IDEs provide integration for running the platform. Uh, a lot of IDEs support JUnit 5 today. I think almost all IDEs support JUnit 5 today. Uh, Eclipse and IntelliJ for sure, and I'm sure NetBeans, probably NetBeans supports as well. Uh, so IDEs use the platform directly to run your tests. So you're gonna be coding using Jupyter and then the platform knows, oh, these are the tests that this guy wants me to run. And when you right click and say run JUnit tests, IDs use the platform to run those tests, okay? So let's dive into JUnit Jupyter. Jupyter is the new programming model in JUnit. These are the new annotations and all that stuff that you're gonna be using. Uh, it's also an extension model. You can extend Jupyter itself. I'm not talking about the third-party extension that I talked about. You can write new stuff that work with 
Jupyter and write your code. Uh, this is what we're going to be primarily working with in this in this course in this workshop. All right. Uh, so let's enough theory. We're going to dive into the code, start a new Maven project, and then I will show you how to use JUnit five and then start a new. Uh, Maven project in Eclipse that has JUnit. We're going to write this and I'm going to show you the whole step, step-by-step -step procedure from the scratch.